Few things are more soothing than the sound of running water. And this time on NBC29.com's expert video series, Southern Grace's Kenny Lowry will show us the easy and low maintenance way to add a disappearing fountain to any landscape. These are all the materials you'll need to do your disappearing fountain. You have your basin, cinder block, bag of rocks, rocks to put around the edge of your basin when you're done, your urn, and your pump. What we'll be doing here today is installing a disappearing fountain system. I think it's the best fountain system to come along in the 10 years that I've been selling fountains. It's a very low maintenance water feature. The only thing you do is add water as needed, a few drops of Fountech per week to keep the water clear. Fountech is an environmentally safe product. Uh, you also find that wildlife will like this, uh, birds, butterflies, frogs. Uh, you'll create a little ecosystem right here in your yard. First step is you've got to excavate the hole approximately 11 to 12 inches deep. You'll backfill with sand and then you'll set the basin. Now the basins do come in three sizes. You have a two by two, a three by three, and a four by four. Today we're going to use the middle size. That's a three by three. Uh, also, what you set on top of the fountain doesn't really matter. You can use statuary, uh, rocks, um, urns of any kind. It's the system that's the, the part that we're talking about here today. So we'll set the basin down into the hole, and then we're going to check for level. Uh, leveling needs to be pretty close. Um, doesn't have to be exact, because you're going to probably have to shim whatever it is you're setting on top of it anyway. So you'll get your level out, check for the level, all the way around, and once you get it leveled, the hard part's done. You'll simply backfill the hole. Once you've backfilled the hole, you can set your cinder blocks. Cinder blocks are actually what's going to support the weight of whatever it is you're setting on top of your basin. Usually you need two to three cinder blocks. On this three by three, you need two. If you're going to a four by four, you need three cinder blocks. So you'll set those in the basin, just like that. Then you'll take the grate. And we've already cut this grate, but we'll go over that. What you do is here, if you're doing something very heavy, you'll cut this center out entirely, and you'll set whatever it is that you're setting there on top of the cinder block. Today we're just setting this, we're going to be doing an urn, so it's really not that heavy. Um, so we are, this is fine for here, we don't need to cut it entirely out. The corner you cut out, that's going to be your pump access. You'll cut a little corner out about 12 inches square, so that you can get to the pump without taking the fountain apart. So you'll set the grate down in just like this. You can see it supports me just fine. Then you'll set a screen on top. Now you're using a screen because you're going to cover this with stone. You don't want any of those stones to fall through the grate. So the screen's going to keep that from happening. In the middle of that screen, you'll cut a hole out so that you can run your hose through. You'll need a hose. It's best to use kink-free hose. That way you can't kink it, it's easier to work with, and uh, it's a whole lot easier to do than with, uh, with a regular hose that'll kink on you. You need a pump, depending on what size and what you're going to do uh, on this. Today we're going to be using a 1000 GPH pump. This is one of the more powerful pumps that we'll use with fountains. Typically you use 450, 550s, or 1000s. Today we're going to be using this 1000. You'll set that down in your basin just like that. You'll hook up your hose. You'll simply take the hose, slide it on top of the pump. Now most pumps have an adjustable flow rate on them so that you do have some leeway there on, the, on the, how much of a plume you're going to get at the top of your fountain when you're done. Right now we're going to set this at about middle ways. That should give us a good starting point. So we'll take the pump, slide it down into the pump access, take your under, other end of your hose, Slide it up through the hole that you cut earlier for your hose. Now we're ready for the urn. We'll make a connection here to the pump with the hose that's coming out of this urn. Simply slide it onto the barb and you're hooked up. Now we'll stand the urn up. Now that we've got our urn set, we've got our basin full of water, 
We'll replace this grate that we cut out for pump access. We're going to plug it in and give it a try. It's like everything's working here. This is your plume of water. Remember, we talked about the pump being an adjustable flow height. So we can adjust that plume up to where you want it. Keep in mind, the higher the plume, the more splatter, the more often you'll put water into it. This right here is about right. After you've done that, you're ready to finish. Today we're going to be using mixed Mexican beach rock. Uh, we're using those because they're a special rock. When they get wet, they're beautiful. So we'll just pour those onto the grate. When you get that covered with your stone, then you can cover the edges of your basin with these flat stones. You can use pebbles, any stones you have, or whatever it is you want to use to do that. You'll simply lay those up here like this. And you can see what the finished product will look like. You're looking at, from start to finish on a job like this, an hour and a half at the most. After you're done with this water feature, you can add your plants, whatever it is you want to add. Ferns and hostas look great in a shady one. If you're using them in the sun, of course, you'll use some sunny flowers, give it some color, try to find some flowers that will match the feature that you're using. Wintertime on a disappearing fountain. If you're going to winterize it, just take the pump out. It's going to take you about five minutes to take that out. Just leave it there all winter. You should never have to clean your basin. You're actually mounting that basin into the ground above grade. Uh, so you won't have to clean that. No outside water can run in it. You're covering it with, with rocks. So uh, it shouldn't have any leaves or debris blowing into it. So there's no cleaning necessary on it. And there's nothing to take apart in the wintertime. Just simply unplug it, take the pump out. Next spring, put the pump back in it, plug it in and go. If you have any questions or need any help, just give us a call at Southern Grace. Our phone number is 540-948-2239. You can visit our store or you can email us, southerngraceva at aol.com. And you can check out our website, www.southerngraceva.com.